Right in the middle of his first splenectomy. You know how important it was to fill up. Well, I was passing the medical clamp, and I leaned over to whisper how much I loved him, and I, well, I accidentally dropped the clamp into the incision. The patient hemorrhaged. There was blood all over everything. Everyone was staring out. It was awful. So I started to cry, and I ran out of the operating room. Now the patient's in critical condition. It's all my fault. Brad will never forgive me. Anyway, I, I just realized that I am supposed to assist him this afternoon in the hysterectomy. Well, I just couldn't possibly face him. I, so I thought, well, that is, I wondered, uh, could you possibly Gee, help Dorothy, me? I really wish I could help you out. But I have an operation of my own later this afternoon, and right now I have an appointment. But I'm so afraid I may become hysterical when I see him, and a woman's life is at stake. Try to forget he's a man, Dorothy. Think of him only as a doctor. But I, I love him. How can you be so cold, so unfeeling? Haven't you ever been in love? Dorothy, I'm a nurse. Say, nurse, honey, how about lunch? We can dish the doctors. What do you say? Sorry, I have an appointment. Get her. Hey, are you a nice or something? No. Sorry.
Okay, the party's over. Uh, you two aren't married by any chance. Officer, this lady and I are both professional people, like yourself. Isn't there some way we can work this out? What are you, trying to bribe me? I ought to beat the shit out of you for that. You know, you people make me sick. Sneaking in here in the middle of the day when everybody else out having lunch. And what are you doing in here anyhow? Pinching and snapping and all that crap. How come you people don't just screw like normal people do? How do you get hooked on these sick perversions anyhow? Well, one day I went into this store to buy a pair of shoes. And this real young, good-looking salesman comes up to me. And he says, don't I want to buy a pair of hip boots with sharp, spiked heels? So I say, sure. Why not? <laughs> Officer, what's going to happen to us when you get us down to the station? We got a standard procedure for freaks like you. First, we strip off all your clothes. Then you get a very thorough medical examination from our special doctor. Then you're strapped naked on steel security tables and interrogated by some of the young studs on our indecent information squad. Those boys have a taste for leather. And if they don't get what they want out of you, they have special disciplinary techniques for encouraging cooperation. Mmm, show us. <laughs> You better get your ass in here in a hurry, Miss Nurse. You know, we're half an hour late starting the damn operation. It's lucky for you that doctor was late, too, or you'd really be in hot water. And the next time you come... Cool it, Mary. You were sensational today, Nurse. Jerry and I are very pleased. And next week, we're going to let you be the policewoman. Oh, doctor.